The second way to create a histogram for a given data set is from the data tab and you see um, on the here you have the data analysis uh, button um, if you don't have it over here what you can do is that you can go to file and go to option and add ins so you see it it is showing here active application add-ins where I have analysis tool pack if it's not there um, then you should have analysis tool pack here down here below the inactive application add-ins so all you have to do is that select and um, go and it should show what are installed or what not so you see I have solver and data analysis that's why those are selected so your case it will not be selected so you have to select this one and then you have to hit OK for my case I'll just hit cancel so once it's um, installed you can just click here and um, select histogram and hit OK and it'll pop up this tab um, so first one input range you have to select the input that means all the data and hit enter uh, bean range um, we can leave it blank for now um, I'm going to show you how to deal with that um, output range uh, for output um, there's diff three different way uh, the output can be um, generated in a new workbook or a new worksheet ply or if you want on the same page then you can select output range and you have to select any blank um, box to go with um, if you also want to um, create a chart because um, this option gives you the data of the um, um, histogram if you also want to create a chart you have to click chart output and if you also want cumulative percentage you also have to select this one um, so if I see hit OK then it gives me this histogram uh, where it has um, created five six bean for me so um, 1.6 and anything above 1.6 is um, it has three frequency so what is the difference between the first option that we talked about which is from insert and from um, this tab right um, so if you go from insert and histogram then you will not get this uh, plot data so if you click on this cumulative percentage you will get the plot data what data are used to plot it um, if you also click on the bar it will show you the data um, where um, on the um, the from insert option you will not get this data so um, if you also remember on the first step we showed you how to manage and control those bean range so let's do that how can we do that um, a little bit this one is a little bit um, complex um, compared to the first option um, so for this first we need to find a minimum how you know it have to equals to minimum and data range it will give you the minimum you also have to find the maximum how do you find it equals to max the function will pop up so let me show you uh, max and um, you have to select the function and the entire data range um, and this is really helpful for a lot very large data set so um, then you have to find out how many beans you want um, there is a formula for a minimum number of bean if you see this black box k is the minimum number of bean so if you, you can have minimum that amount of bean uh, or intervals or more so the formula is uh, 1.87 and minus 1 to the power 0.4 plus 1 so if we do that in our case case we have 30 data points which gives you about um, 8.19 so I'm rounding it to 8 so you can get 8 or more another good thing 
to check for this equation is that if and for a bean there is minimum uh, five or more um, data falls under each bean what if your data n is very large number then you just have to if your n the total number of data is large very large then the minimum number of bean you can take is n to the power 0.5 so um, I will just stick with minimum number of bean. I can go 10 as um, or more. So intervals. So what will be the intervals if I have minimum 8 bean? So I will select the max minus the mean divided by the minimum number of bean. So 0 0.025 is my intervals. So for this option, what I have to do is that I have to give Excel the um, the interval um, column and Excel only takes the max number so um, for each bean so if I have intervals 0 0.025 that means um, for one bean the first bean will be from point from 1.0 to point 1.025 so the first range would be 1 from 1 to 1.025 but for excel you just need the highest or higher limit so i will put 1.025 and then for the next one would be from 1.025 to 1.05 right because the range is 0 0.025 so i'll put 1.05 and i'll just keep increasing those so i just select both and i'll just go down unless I hit 1.2 and that is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these are my um, beans, uh, upper limit of each bean. Um, now I can just go to data, data analysis, histogram, okay, um, input range already selected. Now it is asking I can do the bean range because I want a different bean than the automatic option. So I select, I hit enter. Um, the output range, like I said, you can select any blank point uh, box here. Um, and the cumulative percentage, I want chart output. So just select OK. And it created the data for you. Um, let's increase a little bit. Um, it is showing, see, um, the first range from 1 to 1.0 to 5. Um, so these are not the middle value. These are the higher limit um, of each bean. This is the number in x-axis. Um, it is showing that um, for, for example, 1.1. So let me add the labels. Um, add the labels on top. So you see, uh, at least for two bean, I have more than five, which is the rules for um, good rule, good to have rule for uh, applying the formula. Um, so which is working okay um, I don't have anything on more so I can get rid of that more if you want um, so so it split it into eight that I wanted um, what if I wanted more than eight um, then I will just put minimum was ten, eight I'll just put um, ten then I'll get my intervals and then I'll have to have I'll have ten uh, box here on the intervals and it'll generate 10 uh, bar for me um, again as we said on the first option of creating histogram uh, this one is showing the um, cumulative percentage so 2 out of 30 is about this percentage um, and then cumulative so 2 plus 3 divided by 30 you'll get this percentage which is 16 percent um, if we go here three four and two which is about uh, 30 percent and then this is how at the end see this data point it is 100 so this is the second way to uh, create a histogram uh, like i said only the difference on this one from the insert option uh, insert chart option is that you get the plot data um, and you got to do a little bit of um, work um, but other than that it's cool um, thank you for watching